some point, we've all tried some form of online dating and sometimes it goes well and sometimes it's a complete disaster. <laughs> then there are the times, in my case, where it's basically an apocalypse. So here's a list of things that are messed up about online dating. Okay, so the first thing is, you never know if it's a real person or not, or just someone trolling you to have a laugh, or maybe even an ex who's still obsessed with you. Now, of course, in my case, it's, um, let me put it this way, it's, uh, it goes up a notch. Yeah. Uh, I'm the one who has rarely encountered someone actually real. Um, guys have pretended to be women, uh, and one in particular actually used his ex's photos and actually sent me nudes of his ex, uh, while pretending to be her, and, uh, I didn't even ask for that. Um, yeah. And, um, yeah, girl, someone seriously needs some professional help. Second, there's people lying about what they truly want or omitting things before they meet you, so you can basically literally be hit with the shock. Now, this one guy was great, uh, during dinner and then kind of went, like, wow, like, cuckoo wow. So it was nearing the end of the day and we were walking to the subway and talking about normal date stuff. <laughs> then he stops me and tells me he wants me to shove my fist up his butt in the alley. Yeah. I'm also trying new things to pleasure my partner, but this was a first date. And uh, yeah. Second of all, I'm not about to do anything that'll get me arrested, like doing stuff in public like that. Uh, third, do not even ask for just a finger first, uh, to lessen the shock, but, yeah. Bye, Felicia. Third, <laughs> it's rare that someone actually reads your profile first before messaging. <sighs> Especially when it matters most. Now, I've gotten messages that are way off from both men and women. And I've gotten messages like, I'm a virgin, I want you to, uh, take my virginity on multiple occasions, as if it's working. Uh, I'm going to kill your area, like the US Army killed Osama. As if that's one of the original lines. Yeah, right. Um, and of course, the most common line, um, can we have sex? And my boyfriend and I are looking for a third. <sighs> no. I think if I was going to be a third addition to a relationship, I'd be with some people like Onision's Greg and his wife Lainey. Now you know how sane I am. Fourth, <laughs> there's all those unwanted nudes, but that's none of my business. Like seriously, it's not my business. Keep your business out of my face. I don't want to see it. Now the fifth reason. You know, there's the constant worry that, um, you know, the person you're meeting might be the end of you. But I don't need to worry about things like that. My mom asks for full name, address, and phone number. And if that doesn't scare psychos away, <laughs> thinking that I'm a bigger psycho stalker, then I'm sure that might face absolutely well. The sixth reason? One thing I can take from all the dates I've had in the past and the countless times they've been crazy disasters, the most messed up thing is that I've learned that I don't need another person to feel love. I just need my hand. <laughs> just kidding. But am I really joking though? Am I? In all seriousness though, a person like me who doesn't care to waste her time with the hookup generation and would rather have a serious relationship but cares more about having a successful career first. Where was I going with this? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I'm staying single AF until I'm successful AF. <laughs> Bye, beaches. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. I would have added more, but if I talked about everything messed up with online dating, we'd be here forever. Bye!